to Green God, Nicole Brady, good morning. Good morning. Now, 60 Minutes last night, I was critical last week of the promo they were running, but they ran the interview with Martin Bryant's mother, Carleen Bryant. Of course, Martin Bryant, the Port Arthur gunman, killed 35 people. Charles Woolley did it. Here's a, here's a taste. Are you really saying that you think if he'd had a trial, although you convinced him to plead guilty, he might have got off? Well, yes. Is that a... Because Martin, Martin always, when he was questioned, um, probably for weeks after, before I saw him again, um, he always said he was never in Port Arthur at Broad Arrow. And... You believed him? Yes. And Mrs Bryant was painfully evasive when asked after her son's mental state. And his psychological condition, his mental state, what's he like? That's confidential. Um, I'm, even if I knew, I couldn't talk about it. All I can say is that but Martin was diagnosed about three years ago as having Asperger's syndrome. Um, and he's happy where he is. Well, Martin Bryant didn't have a trial because he pleaded guilty. I've read every word of the transcript in the uh, plea hearing. Every word. I don't think there's any doubt at all. Martin Bryant was a gunman. Did you watch it? What did you think? Should it have gone to air? 9-6-100-693-13-13-32. Very upsetting to some of the uh, survivors of Port Arthur, I'm sure. Nicole Brady. I thought it was a shameful grab for ratings. I didn't see the promos. I knew that you did not like the promos. I thought that it added nothing to our understanding of this guy who was a, the committed one of the worst atrocities on Australian soil. It added nothing to our understanding of what it would be like to parent somebody like that. The most insightful thing was Paul Mullen, the forensic psychiatrist, saying we should feel sorry for her. But it um it just Which I agree with instead. I agree with it as well, but it was full of contradictions. It they had to sort of flesh it out a bit and go back and as well as having Paul Mullen, they had to have a couple of victims who were there on the day. And I just think it was essentially just to, to rake in viewers and unfortunately that did work for them. Now the top show in Melbourne last night and their ratings were definitely up last night compared to last week. I agree with you strongly that the look, there's a point to this sort of the pain that this can cause if it achieves something. But it it didn't. I mean she she sort of vaguely suggested you just heard that maybe he didn't do it, uh, which is just nonsense. It didn't give you any insight. Well, could we have identified at some stage in this young man's life that he was so psychotic, he was dangerous, and should we could have avoided it? None of that. No, that was not tied to an anniversary. I mean, it's no. 15 years, but it comes up in April. I just really think it was... It was just pointless, absolutely pointless. And all it might do is, as you've said, exacerbate the pain some people were feeling. And I just can't see any reason to do that whatsoever. Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Oh, hello, Neil. And, um, Nicole. Oh, Nicole. Sorry, Nicole. That's right. Um, Wendy? Sorry about that. Uh, I watched it on and off. I was flicking on a flicker. And I thought it was very creepy. She is a very creepy, strange woman. And I thought, that is so sad. I'm not watching 60 Minutes anymore. I've had enough for Channel 9. I think they need a good swift kick. I thought it was a very unnecessary um, thing to have on. Okay. It, it, Wendy, it's interesting you say you won't, uh, that it sort of diminishes Channel 9 in your view because they're increasingly trying to promote themselves around news and current affairs. Uh, and I don't, I agree, I don't think that'll help. I really don't. No, I don't think that it's to their credentials as a news and current affairs network one well, little bit. Was that why, I didn't watch the rest of the the, uh, the bulletin, is that why uh, 60 Minutes rated? Was that the story or was there yes. something else they had? Well, they had Gaga. Or well, they had Lady, Lady Gaga, Gaga, an American buy, and then they had Ray Martin in Christchurch. But I have no doubt the reason that people were tuning in were the reason, was the reason I tuned in. I don't ordinarily watch 60 Minutes anymore. I was interested to have a look at this and I was disgusted by the time I turned it off. So Ray was in Christchurch. How many times did he mention the Anzac Spirit? I didn't watch it. I turned it off after the Martin Bryant um, mother episode. I just thought it was just rubbish.